Hello everyone, this is a tutorial by me showing you how to get custom firmware onto your PSP. Now if there's anything that you don't understand or anything that you didn't catch just leave a comment in the box below this video and I'll try my best to get back to answer it. Now people may ask what is custom firmware? Now to me custom firmware is a beneficial thing rather than a hindrance. Many people see it as an object to you know promote hacking as such but I think it's actually quite a useful tip as to be honest we bought these machines and we should be able to do what we want to do with these machines but apart from that I think that custom firmware is quite it's quite it can make you creative in a way so there's one question you might be asking how do you get custom firmware? Now in this video I'm going to show you how to get a temporary custom firmware fix on your PSP 3000. Now there are many, many um, different tutorials to do them because there are different types. Now as far as I'm aware there are options available for the PSP 1000, PSP 2000, 3000 and I think even Vita has been uh, breached in some way. But what I'm going to show you first is how to do it on a PSP 3000, one which I've got here. Alright, so if we go down to our system settings, we go down to our system information, we will see the system version which is 6.60 now as a warning for you guys to be able to do this you'll need to have version 6.60 installed on your PSP official firmware now as you see here I've got the update and you can get it easily online anywhere so I'll post a link where you can download this version from and you can start updating your PSP from there. So, because I've already got it, I don't need to run this. But once you've got that, I'll, you'll need to run another piece of software once the update is done. And this software will be one of three. You'll have one which is an update, one which is a fast recovery, and one which is a simple flasher. Now, the one that we're going to be putting on today just for the purposes of this video is the update so once you have completed this version update you go down to update and press X it will start up as if you're starting a PSP game now and many people see one of the benefits or the main benefit of running custom firmware as just having the ability to run backups but that's not how I see it now you should see this now what we're going to do is just press X you should come up with a longer one than yours because mine has already been done before yours for, if you're doing it for the first time it should come up with that so we press X once then we press X again now it's going to start it and reboot it this is a very simple tutorial for you out there. So once you've done that, just to make sure that the firmware has been uh, set completely, you go back to system settings, go all the way down, system information, and we can see the system software is now 6.60 Pro B9 and to see what games I have up there you can see that I've got some PSP games which I've managed to put on here Oh, wait. We got Fifth Street, we got 
some of these, we've got some of them. So that's just a real brief tutorial. I'll leave, I'll leave, I mean, it's, it's rather self explanatory, but anyhow, I will leave um, the links to the things that you'll need in the description. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop me a comment on YouTube nearly every hour. So don't hesitate to drop me a comment, I will reply. Thank you for watching, this has been fun, and have fun with doing all the wonderful stuff with your PSP. Bye.